It's a job that really goes to the animals sometimes. Yeah. But sometimes being a zookeeper is lots of hard work, right, Crystal? Now, you, That's you right. Might, we might not realize just how hard, though, until we talk to you. Exactly. Now, I took some time to step into the shoes of a Jacksonville zookeeper. You know, there's a lot of droppings that I had to pick up. <laughs> and they have to take care of thousands of animals there. So I just wanted to show you a few of my experiences working at the Jacksonville Zoo. I started my day as a zookeeper at the range of the Jaguars exhibit. This is our superstar. This is Khan. Khan's going to go out for us today. Although the Jags look cute and cuddly, they are wild animals. In any animal setting, but especially with these carnivores, is to make sure that you're secure to enter at any given time. Um, this is the only cat access to the door, or to the exhibit, excuse me. And as you can see, there's a cat right here. So I obviously want to make sure that this is locked and secure before I enter. We checked the mesh and enclosures for safety, raked fresh dirt, and cleaned windows. Looks good. You're on your way to being a keeper. They typically defecate in one spot, uh, but they usually hide it. Just watch where you step. I think I found the dew pile. You did find it. Look at you. With the fun comes the dirty jobs as well. That's true. You want to try it? Yes. All right. Now it's fun with all the grass. You just kind of, there you go. It's moving. Zookeepers also make sure the animals have enrichment. They use different types of toys, scents, and food to encourage their natural instincts and behaviors. Megan is a carnivore keeper, so she also manages the giant otter exhibits. I spend much more time here than at Jag because these guys actually eat six times a day. Very fast metabolism. What we feed them here is three different types of fish. They get trout right here, um, and then they get tilapia we cut up for them. So this is actually kind of a training session as well. She doesn't get her food unless both feet are on that top rock station, and it's called a stationing behavior, and it kind of settles her down while she eats. After one of their many meals, I was off to River's Edge. Down this hallway, we have our taper, our capybara, and our giant anteaters. And then down this hallway, we have our primates. We kind of have them separated out. We have white-faced sake monkeys, squirrel monkeys, which you see up here, and then howler monkeys. They are the world's largest guinea pig. They get to be over 100 pounds. And this big curious guy right here, this is Vinny. He's our Baird's taper. A wild ant eater can eat 20 to 30,000 ants a day. It would be kind of a difficult job to try and get them enough ants to survive off of. So most places give them some type of substitute diet. This is just hard-boiled egg. Um, it's one of their favorite treats. They have a very sticky saliva, a very sticky spit that the food just kind of sticks to. It's, it's not exactly the most pleasant thing. It's kind of gross <laughs> when you get it all over yourself. So one of the important things about being a zookeeper is having a strong stomach. How do you feel about live bugs? Ah! Are you okay with those guys? Ah! These are called Zephobus oh worms. My gosh. OK, so I'm not a big fan of bugs, but as a zookeeper in training, I had to conquer my fears. And the last stop, the reptile exhibit. We used to have, like I said, 19 of these in the back. And we'd have to it'd take me, you know, about an hour to go through them all and get them all cleaned and fed. No. <laughs> that wasn't poisonous. No. no, they didn't let me touch anything poisonous. You know, I, just the bugs had me already squealing yeah. and uh, running for my life. But it was a really good experience. I spoke to the zookeepers, and they say, you know, even though it's a lot of dirty work, they are happy that they can help with the conservation efforts, and they love that. It's something different every day, and they're really helping a lot of the endangered animals as well. Yeah. And it's pretty, you know, that's the kind of job where you really can't let your guard down as well. I mean, you, you have to be on your P's and Q's every single day. Um, and, and one, for the animals' lives, right. and also for your own personal safety. And safety is really important. When I went to the Jacksonville Zoo, we were going inside every enclosure, checking the mesh, checking at any kind of, you know, spot where you think something may go wrong to help keep the animals safe and, you know, the viewers that are watching. Yeah. And in fact, if you're 14 and older, you can be a part of being a zookeeper for a day. If you head to our website, newsforjacks.com, I have all the information there so you can have an experience just like I did. Great story. I wanted to pet everything except for at the end. I wanted to hug the jaguars. <laughs> <laughs> and they wouldn't let you. No, they wouldn't let you. Thank you, Crystal. That was great. Crystal.